Okay, good afternoon class. Okay, so today um, we go to the new chapters, right? There is a radio activity. Okay, chapter 8. Mm. Okay, all right. So before we continue, okay, before we continue, I want you to log in using this uh, link, okay? Okay, using this link, okay, and also enter this code. I'm not sure whether you already, uh, you have used this one before. Okay, this is a class point. Okay, so everyone have to join, okay, the class. 28942, okay, the code. So let's say if you um using your phone, okay, if you're using your phone, you can just use your you just scan just scan the QR code here. Okay, so you will be directly go to the link. So we're still waiting for the um, 21, I think 20 student more to join. Now we have 30, right? 33, sorry. So let's try to use. Have you ever used this one before? Maybe with other teacher, other subject? No, okay. So this is your first time. Teacher, can you send the link again? Yes. Wait. Okay, and this is the code two eight nine four two. So we still got ten more, nine. You can use your phone to scan the. QR code, okay, if you don't want to use the link, just scan the QR code. Okay, so stick uh, seven more. Okay, I will just forward again the link in case someone just joined. Okay, I'll give you like two more minutes to join, then we start the class. Five more. Four more. Anyone have problem to join the link? Okay, so I will start the class. Okay, so chapter 8, radio activity. Okay, so discovery of radio activity. So how does the radioactive being discovered? So in 1895, right, Wilhelm Conrad, uh, Conrad uh, Rongen, okay, is discovered the X-ray. So it's discovered the X-ray, okay, by... Uh, accidentally, uh, actually, the uh, the I think the left hand of the uh, the left hand of his wife, right? 
So, and Marie and Perry Curie found a polonium and also the radium okay, in April 1902. Okay. And also the Anton, Anton Harry Becquerel, okay, is found rays emitted from the nucleus of uranium, okay, can blacken a photographic plate, okay, even in the dark. Right, so they discover the rays that like actually the nucleus of uranium okay can emit the rays all right the rays that can blacken a photographic plate okay even in the dark okay so this is the symbol of radioactive okay and actually why is the radioactive okay so the radioactive is a random okay and the spontaneous decay process of unstable nucleus by emitting a radioactive radiation okay it's just a random process you cannot stop the reaction okay you only can slow down the reaction okay so that's the dangerous of the radioactive substance okay whenever it react you cannot stop it okay you only can slow it okay uh the reaction so when the when the reaction occurs right they will produce the high energy so that energy that being produced, okay, that being released is used, okay, such as to produce the electricity. Okay, so like like in Japan, okay, they use a nuclear power station, right? So they use the radioactive, they react with the radioactive, so they react the radioactive, then they after it produce the energy, so that energy will be used to produce the electricity. Okay, but the amount of heat energy that being released is very high. Okay, so the radioactivity is the random. Okay, so it's a random and spontaneous a decay process of unstable nucleus by emitting the radioactive radiation. So while they react, they will emit the radioactive radiation. Okay, so there are three types of radioactive radiation. Okay, the first one is the alpha, okay, beta, and also gamma. Okay, so this is the three types of radioactive uh, radiation. So whenever the radioactive substance, okay, there will occur the reaction, okay, between the radioactive substance, they will release the uh, radioactive radiation, okay. There are three types, that is alpha, beta and gamma, okay. So this one, you cannot stop the reaction, you only can slow it down. Okay, so this is the example of the reaction of the radioactive Okay, so let's say you have a uranium. Okay, so when the uranium uh, 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 is react, okay, and you produce the thorium, okay, and also the helium. Okay, so you can see alpha, beta, and gamma. So this is the uh, product of the radiation. Okay, this is the radiation uh, rays. Okay, helium, uh, beta, and gamma. So helium is actually alpha, okay. So the other name of helium is alpha, okay. Alpha is 4 to helium. So maybe this is only for your information. So helium is 4 to helium. Okay, why beta? Beta is actually electron. There is 0, negative 1 electron. Why gamma? They don't have any charge. So it means they don't have... Uh, atomic number okay no so they just use the alpha symbol here okay so alpha is the helium actually the helium nucleus while beta is actually the electron okay and gamma is actually the electromagnetic wave okay so they don't have the uh, uh sorry the gamma ray they don't have the atomic number okay they only like uh, there because there is there there's a one kind of wave okay so, I explain again. So, radioactivity, radioactivity is a random and spontaneous decay process. So, it means you cannot stop. Okay, you cannot stop. You only can slow it down. Okay. So, and there are the, the nucleus for the radioactive, they are not stable. Okay. So, they want to become stable. So, in order they want to become stable, they have to release the radioactive radiation so there are three type radioactive radiation that they can relieve there is a alpha beta and also gamma so you can see this is the example of the equations okay this is the product of decay so they will produce a thorium and also the radioactive emission there is a alpha so alpha is actually a helium okay while beta is actually an electron means negative while gamma they don't have charge because this one is the electromagnetic wave Okay, so they don't have the atomic number. Okay. 
So radioactive decays. Okay, so what is the radioactive decays? So radioactive decays is also a random, okay, and spontaneous process, okay, where, uh, where an unstable nucleus emits a radioactive radiation until the nucleus become more stable. Okay, so it just seems like just now radioactive decay, okay, it's just spontaneous and random uh, process, okay, that we emit the uh, radiation, okay, that we emit the radiation, radioactive radiation, okay, but for the radioactive radiation, it more particular, so it said that it will reduce the radio and radioactive uh, radiation, okay, in order to become more stable. So let's see if I have this one, let's say this is a uh, helium. Uh, sorry, let's say this is a, a, a krypton. Okay, so krypton is also one of the example of the radioactive substance. So this krypton, the nucleus of the krypton here is not stable. Okay, so it wants to become more stable. So in order it to become more stable, okay, it really, it need to release the radioactive radiation. So means it have to release whether uh, alpha, beta or gamma. Okay, and while they release the radioactive radiation, they will release also the energy. Okay, uh, they will release also the energy here. So that energy that being used, okay, to produce the electricity. Okay, uh, so that is the radioactive decay. So radioactive decay means they say I have a thorium here. So the thorium here is not stable. Okay, you can take any example of the radioactive substance. So let's say if I took a thorium here, so the thorium is not stable. So the nucleus of the thorium is not stable. It wants to become stable. So in order it to become stable, it needs to release the radioactive radiation. So there are three types of radioactive radiation that can be released. There is alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha is the helium, okay, while beta is the electron and gamma, there's no charge. Okay, they don't don't have any charge. It's a neutral. Okay, and it's a one type of the electromagnetic wave. Okay, so they need to release that so it, they ca they can become more stable. Okay, and in after that is just not release the radiation. Okay, radiation ray. They also release the energy. Okay, at the same time, and that energy is being used to re uh, to produce the electricity. So I hope you can understand. Okay, so there are three types of radiation. There is alpha, beta, and gamma. So this is the symbol for alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so alpha is a positive, beta is a negative, okay, because it's electron. Alpha is a positive charge, okay. So for two, and it's actually the helium. While gamma is actually no charge, it's a neutral. So this is the radioactive uh, urine, uh, elements. You can see the yellow one polonium, okay, radon, rhodon, okay, so this is the example. Okay, so now, okay, um, I will like you to answer the question, okay, so you can see on your screen, okay, at the class point uh, just now that you use the link or maybe you scan the QR code, okay. Can you answer it? Can you submit the answer there? Any problem because just now they got a problem they cannot submit. Okay, so I see someone already answered the question. Very good. Okay, maybe someone just joined the class. Okay, while I'm teaching just now. So you can use the link and you can use the code to log in. To the class point here. So all of you must answer.
Okay, seven more. Brandon, Tan Zio Yang, Chu Pei Ling, Ao Yang Pei Ying, Ho Chin Yi. Are you logging to na uh, two names paying? Because I think I just saw your name just now. Yes, Cochini also two name is it? Tanzio Yang. Okay, so these two uh log in with two names. Okay, so never mind. Later I will remove. I quit already. Okay, so I will close. Okay, so most of you got answer A, okay, and some got answer B, okay. So, let's check the answer. Okay. So, this is your score, right. So, later I will put in the slide here. Okay, so let's check your answer here. So a random and spontaneous uh, decay process of unstable nucleus, okay, by emitting a radioactive radiation, we call it as a radioactivity, right? Because radio radioactive decay means they have to mention that the nucleus, they want to be more stable. It's unstable and it become, it want to become more stable Okay, they have to uh, release the radioactive radiation. Okay, but this one they didn't mention then. Uh, they didn't mention that they have to release, right, the radioactive ra uh, radiation to become more stable. Okay, so this is uh, the answer should be for unstable nucleus by emitting radioactive. So this one is actually the answer is A. Okay. So the answer is A. All right. So let's move on to the next one. How many types of radioactive radiation? Okay, we wait for another 13 students to give answer. How many types of radioactive radiation? So let's see who still didn't give. So we go Wong Ying Si Tan Zio Yang. Kim Ziyu, Lee Kermin. Ko Chin Yi. Kim Ziyu. Tan Zio Yang. So how many radioactive radiation? Okay. Alright, so some say A, some say B and some say C. Okay, so what's the answer? The answer should be 
there are three types of radioactive radiation. Okay, so what's the type of radiation? The first one is a alpha, okay, beta, and also gamma. So this is the three types of radioactive radiation. So the answer should be B boy. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so who is the first person who discovered X-ray? The one that I said he accidentally uh, X-ray his left or uh, right hand of his wife. Okay, and then the, the, you can see the bone there. Right, so what's the name that I mentioned just now? So let's see who still did the answer. Kim Ziyu, Tan Zio Yang. Okay, so I will close. Okay, so 90%, okay, 29 of you answer C, while 2 of you answer B, and 1 of you answer A. Okay, so let's check the answer. Okay, so the first person who discovered x ray is actually Wilhelm Rongen. Okay, so the answer should be C. Okay, so... Okay, good. For those who answer C, very good. Means you listen, okay, what I've teached just now. Right, so the next one, the first person who discovered radioactive radiation. So, who is that? Okay, discover the radioactive radiation. Okay, so we wait for the answer. Who still didn't give the answer? Lam Yu Heng, Tong Ming Dong, Ko Ching Yi, Yan He. Teacher, I already submit. Okay. You log in to names, right? Later, I have to remove. Uh, Ao Yang Peying. Um, are you logging with two names? Teacher, I think you can remove me. 
Wait, I remove first. Um, Ko Chin Yi. Uh, wait, I check first. This one, right? Okay. Is there any any uh, any other's name that have two names here? Peying, you have three names. Which one should I remove? <laughs> I just remove this one first. Remove all, is it? Then you join again. Okay. So, um, okay, so I will close. So, most of you answer B, okay? All right, so let's check the answer. First person who discovered the radioactive radiation, is it Henry Becquerel? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, is the first person who discovered the radioactive radiation? Okay, is actually uh, Henry Becquerel. So the answer is B. Right, correct. Okay, so for this one, you have to type your answer. We already discussed just now. Teacher, remove my name too. All is it? Then you have to join again. I remove all, okay? Then you join again. Okay. So this one you have to type. Welcome. Okay, three types of radiation. What is the three type of radiation that we discussed just now? So still, still didn't give the answer. What is the three types of radiation that we discussed just now? Okay, in order for the nucleus of the radioactive, okay, atom, okay, they want to become more stable, okay, they need to emit the radioactive radiation. There are three types of it, okay. And while they release the radioactive radiation, they also release the energy, okay? So that energy is actually the nuclear energy. Okay, Brandon, Tan Zio Yang, Chiu, Pei Ling, Lam Yu Heng, Zio Zun, Li Kemin, Yan Hei. Zio Yang, Zio, Zio Yang, you have, still have to name, is it? Wait, I find another one. Where is it? Wait. No.
Okay, Lam Yu Heng, Yan He, Angelina. Okay, so we closed. Alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, yes, that's correct. Alpha. Okay, beta. And also gamma. So alpha is actually what? It's actually a helium. Okay, beta is actually a electron. Okay, gamma is actually the electromagnetic wave. Okay. So, this is the EM wave. Okay, so let's check your answer. Okay, very good. Okay, this will be approved uh, for your PBD, right? So, for oh, chapter 8. So, that's why I, I, you have to answer. They say you cannot join. You can just put your answer in the chat also can. Neutrons, no? Not neutrons. Alpha, beta and gamma only. Alpha, very good. Uh, no. Okay. The decay of uranium, thorium and cobalt that we produce the uh, radioactive radiation. But this is not the types of radiation of being produced. This is actually uh, the radioactive substance. Okay, that decay, then it will produce the uh, radioactive radiation. Okay. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Uh, this one also wrong. Okay, radioactive decay atom, no. Alpha, beta and gamma, that is the radioactive radiation. Alpha, beta, no neutrons. Neutrons, no charge. Okay, it's not neutron. Neutron is one zero n. Okay, while gamma is actually, they don't have any atomic number. This is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Okay, very good. Alright, so let's move to another one. Okay, which chemical elements did Mary and Piri, uh, Piri Curie discover? Wow, so fast. You can refer in the textbook that you have the answer there. Okay, nine more. Hintin, Natalie, Weilun, Siu, Keizin, Yin En. May start if you ca uh, if cannot join the first time, then you join the second time. Maybe you can use a different name. Okay, maybe you can put the Zhou Yang like that. So I know which one that I need to remove. Okay, so we wait for Weilun and also Ziyu. Ziyu. Alright. Okay, so most of you answer A and C. So I think there are two answers, right? Okay, there are two answers. Okay. 
Right, so the answer is A and C. Okay, two answer. Okay, so what's the answer? is actually polonium and also the radium. So uh, this is the chemical elements that Mary and Pierre Curie discovered. Okay, and also uh, the sad thing is uh, both of them died, okay, because of the too much exposure to the uh, radioactive substance, right? Okay. Okay, so we move on to the next part, okay, the units of radioactivity. So the first unit of radioactivity introduced was Curie. Okay, so the symbol is CI. All right, the rate of unstable nuclear decay or activity in nuclear decay is measured in Curie. So one Curie is 3.7 times 10 power of 10 decay per second. So that is, if you say one CI means, so every one second, there are 3.7 times 10 power of 10 decays. Okay, this is the uh, first unit of the radioactive uh, activity that is being introduced. Okay, so I think you sh um, you must know already who invented this one. So of course they must be come from the Marie Curie and Pierre Curie. Okay, usually the scientists they will use their own name. They say if they discover anything new, law, okay, or principle or anything, they will use their own name. Okay, so this is the unit okay for radioactivity and the SI unit for radioactivity okay is a becquerel BQ so one BQ is actually equals to one dk per second all right so means for every one second there will be one dk and for one CI one second is 3.7 times 10 power of 10 decays okay so that is the unit of the radioactivity Okay, so rate of, okay, this one is actually the continue, okay, from the, uh, the slide before. Right, so what is the relationship between the Becquerel and also the Curie? So 1 CI is actually equals to 37000, right, uh, Becquerel and 1 Becquerel is 2.70, okay, this is the long unit, times 10 power of negative 11 CI. So example, if you want to, to convert, right, 15 uh, Becquerel to uh, 1 Curie, okay, to Curie. So 15 Becquerel means 15 and then you have to times with 2.70720270270270 times 10 power of negative 11. So you will get this answer. So this is the example how you want to convert from uh, one Becquerel, uh, one 15 Becquerel to uh, Curie, okay, the unit Becquerel to Curie, okay. So, this is how you convert. Okay, the next part is the half-life. So, what is the half-life? So, half-life is the time taken for the number of undecayed nuclei, nuclei to be reduced to half of its original number. So, what does it mean? So, let's say if I have the 100 gram. Okay, 100 gram of krypton. Okay, krypton. So let's say you have 100 gram of krypton and then it will be decay, okay. The krypton will decay until it becomes 50 gram. Until it becomes half of the uh, original mass, okay. So 50 gram krypton. So the time taken for it to become half from its original ma uh, mass, okay, we call it as the half life. So let's say for 100 gram to, from 100 gram to 50 gram, let's say it takes like 30 minutes, example. Okay, so means the half life for the krypton is 30 minutes. Okay, so means the original, it have to be the time taken uh, to become half from its original number. Okay, so let's say it mass, so you have to put 100 gram, then become 50 gram. Okay, so example, another example. So let's say um, I have a 200 gram of polonium. Okay, and then it become 100 gram of polonium. Okay, and the time taken is like say one hour. So mean the half-life for the polonium is one hour. Because 200 
to one to two times two hundred and be to become one hundred is half of it, right? So uh, one hundred is half of from the two hundred. How one hundred is half from the two hundred, and how much the time is taken is one hour. So means the half uh, the half life is one hour. Okay, so that's the meaning of the half life, right? So they say, uh, one hundred and then it become fifty gram, right? So fifty gram is the half from the one hundred gram. So another one hour. Uh, so this one is already have two half life. This is the first half life. This is the second half life. So from two hundred until it become fifty gram, it takes two half life. Okay. Uh, so that's the uh, explanation. What is the half life actually? So this one is actually they give you a value, but let's say they give you a graph like this. Okay, so it started from 100, right? So the half from the 100, should say, sorry, this one is from 10 gram. Okay, so they say it starts from 10 gram. So half from 10 gram is what? 5 gram. Okay, so it means here. So you just take how many the time here. So the time here is 1 half life, right? So 1 half life is said here, 5, 7, 3, 0 years. So means from what, 10 gram to 5 gram, okay, the carbon need 5,730 years to decay. So let's say if I have a 10 gram carbon, okay, and it become 5 gram. So from 10 gram to 5 gram, okay, it needs 5,730 years. And it's one half life. Okay, because it states here the one half life is five seven three three five seven three zero years, and this one if you underline the graph, it show one right. So mean one half life. So means five seven three three zero. So they see from five they want to go two point five. So two point five is half from five gram. So if we take another five thousand seven hundred thirty years, so another half life. So means if they want to become from 10 gram until 2.5 gram, they need to uh, to take two half life. Okay, so for two half life means you have to multiply lah. Two multiply with 5730. So how many years taken? Okay, from the uh, 10 gram of carbon to become only 2.5 gram of carbon. Okay, so you remember the half life is actually the time taken, okay, for the substance, okay, to become half, okay, from its original mass or original value. Because sometimes they will use a mass, sometimes they will use a number of uh, reactivity, okay, so it depends on the questions. Okay, so I give you one example. So this is the graph, right? So how you want to find the half-life from the graph? Okay, so this is the integration rate okay decays per minute so it's starting from 16,000 all right so 16,000 so if you want to find the half life you have to find uh the half from the half from the 16,000 so the half of the 16,000 is actually 8,000 right so the 8,000 you underline here okay and then you go down so it takes how many days it takes eight days Okay, so for, for the substance to become from 16,000 to 8,000, okay, the half from the 16,000, they take 8 days. So 16,000 decays, okay, per minute, okay, you want it to become 8,000, alright. So means this one, it takes 8 days. So means after that, it become 8,000, half from 8,000 is... 4,000. So, it take another 8 days. Okay, then 4,000 go to Half life. Okay, it will take four half life years. Can you see my presentation here? Okay, 
So if we take four half life year from sixteen thousand to until one thousand, okay. So uh, this is yes. Uh, teacher, uh, you've just now lagged a bit. Uh, can you explain again? Uh, four thousand to two thousand. Four thousand to two thousand. I mean, starting from here, or you want me to start from sixteen thousand? Uh, start from four thousand. Four thousand. Okay. Uh, okay, so here, I will start from 16 because in order to go to 4,000, 4, you need to start from the initial part first. Okay, so 16,000, this is the initial mass. Okay, so 16,000, remember half-life, what is the half-life? Half-life is this, the mass will become half, okay, from its original mass. So the original mass is 60,000. So half of it will become 8,000. Okay. So how many days it taken from to go from 16 to 8? So you just read from the graph here, it will become 8 days. So it need 8 days. Okay, and then from 8,000, it goes to 4,000. So another 8 days will be needed. Okay, and then for 4,000, half of 4,000 is 2,000, right? So you need another 8 days. Okay, and then for 2,000, it becomes until 1,000. Okay, half from 2,000, you need another 8 days. Okay, so 8 days, this one is actually, we call it as a half-life. Okay, it's a half-life. T1 over 2. This is the symbol for half-life. Okay, so means they have how many half-life uh, half here? It has 4 half-life. Okay, 4 half-life. So 4 half-life is needed, okay. To decrease the 60,000, okay, to only left by 1,000 only. So, four half life. So, if you want to find how many days, you already know, right? Half life, one half life is eight days. So, if I say four half life, means four times eight, okay? So, you will get 32 days. So, from 60,000 to become 1,000, it need 32 days to decay, right? So, are you clear? Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. All right. So for this one, uh, that one, if they're using a graph, right? So you just can find it, okay, using the graph. But this one, it didn't give you, it didn't give you the graph, but they give you the half life already. So the half life is three days, right? So how many time is required for ten gram of the substance to decay until one point two five gram is left? So remember, it start from 10 gram, okay? Then it will decay until 1.25. So means you need to divide 2, divide 2, divide 2 until it become 1.25. So start from 10 gram. So half from 10 gram is 5 gram, right? Half then 5 gram is 2.5. Half then 2.5 is 1.25, okay? So we already have until 1.25 here. Then the next thing you need to find is Okay, the next thing you need to find is, you need to find the how many days. So, this one we already know. One half-life is three days. So, this one how many half-life? One, two, three. Okay, so three half-life. So, one half-life, three days. If three half-life, three times three. So, how many days will be taken? Nine days. Okay, so that's how you use, they say that one is for graph and this one is actually they already give you, just can straight away use it. But you need to need to know how many half-life until starting from 10 until 1.25. Okay, you have to divide by 2, divide by 2 like that. Okay, so alright, for this one I want you to try. Okay, wait. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, it says here the half-life of sodium is 16 hours. So you put, yes, yeah, 16 hours. How many 0 0.64 gram we left after 64 hours? So you have to know how many half-life is there, okay, for 64 hours.
some of you already answered. Very good. Okay, uh, I will give you answer. Maybe two or three minutes. Then we stop. It's okay if it's wrong, okay? They already give you the half life year 16 hours and the half, uh, how many 0 0.64 gram we left after 64 hours? So it means you have to find how many half life there for, for, for 64 hours. I give you one more minute, then I will stop and we will discuss. Give you fifteen more seconds. Okay. So some of you say four zero point zero four grams, zero point one six. Okay, never mind. Okay, so one half-life is 16 hours, okay? So for 64 hours, okay, so how many half-life is that? So 60 times 4 is 64. So this one also you have to multiply by 4, right? So means you have 4 half-life, okay? So means you have to divide 2, 4 times, okay? Starting point zero for 0 0.64. So you divide by 2, you will get 0 0.32, right? So this one should be 0 0.16 and this one should be 0 0.04 okay uh please tell me if i'm if i'm do any mistake here because i'm just using is it is it correct okay no no 0 0.08 yeah 0 0.08 first so 0 0.08, then I divide again. So 0 0.04. Okay. So here, right? So we see how many half life. You only not uh, you only want four, right? So one, two, three, four. So there is a four half life there. So how many gram will be left? 0 0.04 gram. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay. So it means you have to divide to uh Divide by 2 for 4 times, right? So, 0 0.04. So, let's check your answer. Okay, 0, 0.0. Okay, maybe this one you typing error. No. No. Good. Wrong. No. Okay. Wrong. 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 Correct, correct. Oh, wow, 1,600 kg. Why, how can it become zero? It start from 0 0.64, right? Okay, wrong, wrong. Okay, so never mind. We still have a few questions that you can try, okay? And for the next class. Okay, so this is just the example. So I will stop uh, now. Okay, I see you on Wednesday. If I'm not mistaken, we continue on Wednesday, all right? So take care everyone, okay? So thank you for all the response, okay? So take care, bye.